Hey you guys, welcome to your weekend edition, Love and General Reading. Uh, this is for the element of fire. So if you're Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising, these are your messages for the weekend of January the 12th through the 14th, 2024. So I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Please keep in mind these are general. Uh, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully you get some clarity. Uh, also, if you're wanting to book a personal reading, be sure to check with me first because I'm making some changes. All right, so we have the overall energy as the lovers. We have the star. Uh, I'm sorry, the moon. Uh, we have the eight of wands. We have temperance. Nine of wands. Six of wands. Princess of swords. And death. All right, so... Overall energy, I'm kind of getting um, more of a metaphysical message first. So I kind of feel like there is some sort of communication through dreams. Like maybe somebody is sending you messages or maybe you're just automatically picking up on someone's energy um, through your dreams. Or maybe you're the one that is trying to um, contact someone through telepathy or mental thought, just sending that energy out there. Um, I feel that, you know, there is someone that you could be connected to, uh, romantically through dreams. Um, maybe, you know, even if you're not necessarily together in this realm, um, I feel like you guys are together in the astrals um, or maybe like a parallel universe. Um, but I do feel like there is some, you know, strong romantic connection that you're having with someone. Um, and I feel that you guys have been together before um, in other lifetimes. It also kind of feels that something is bringing two people together. Um, there is like some sort of energy or pool that's bringing two people together. Um, so if you do happen to make any type of love connection, um, I kind of feel like this is something that was destined to happen. I feel that there are some sort of transits happening in the sky that is bringing you uh, close to this to this person or bringing you towards each other. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's uh, a relationship that could develop it. It could, um, but it also might just indicate that you're communicating with someone who you have like a spiritual bond with. Um, also, I feel like I feel like some of you might hear from a twin flame. Mm. I'm getting something about like a union, like something just is coming off like a divine union to me. Uh, if there is distance between you and a twin flame, uh, I feel like something's happening where maybe there's going to be some sort of healing exchange between the two of you. Um, Maybe there is something that you need from them and something that they need from you. Uh, so just the two of you coming together uh, brings some sort of healing. And then because, uh, you know, the energy between the two of you serves a higher purpose, it's also possible that that energy could go out towards other people. Mm hmm. Now, also, certain things that maybe you're uh, being stressed about. Um, I feel that the universe is trying to tell you to be patient. The universe is trying to encourage you or uh, inspire you or give you some sort of faith um, so that you can continue to fight or hold on um, or to stop worrying about whatever it is that you're concerned about. 
Now, even if you aren't making romantic connections, if you make any type of new bond this weekend, um, I feel like this person is maybe coming into your life uh, to help you overcome just certain insecurities that maybe you're dealing with, um, certain fears that you have, like, I feel like they're coming into your life to assist you, to be in your corner, to just cheer you on and support you. So, you know, especially if you feel alone at times uh, or like you don't have anybody in your corner, I feel like that's what this person is here for. They're here to support you and encourage you. Um, but I also feel like there is again, like a mutual exchange going on. So while they're helping you in your life, in some way, you're going to help them too. Mm. Hmm. Again, I'm getting something about you needing to push yourself. Maybe there have been times where you push people away or put up some sort of a barrier. But I kind of feel like uh, you're going to overcome that. If you've been having trust issues or maybe you. Maybe you're doing something to see if someone can be trusted. And if somebody doesn't run, then I feel like. You know, that is a, a strong sign that this is someone that can not handle you, but, you know, they're maybe they're just genuine or they genuinely want to stick around. Mm. You could be dealing with several energies, um, could be Pisces, Gemini, Sagittarius. Scorpio or an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Mm. Kind of seems to like you're looking for something or there's something that you're trying to see. It could be that you're trying to look into uh, a future situation, but like you're not seeing something. Oh, hold on, you guys. Sorry about that. Okay, so I was saying something about it. it looks like you were trying to look into, um, maybe trying to see where something's going to go, but you can't see, or there's only darkness. Hmm. There is a possibility, uh, just um, as a precaution, uh, another thing, if you do happen to meet someone that one minute it seems like this person is like super interested and then they, they ghost. Um, and maybe, you know, that person was just meant to come into your life for a brief moment. Um, if you are not ghosted by, um, uh, this connection, it could be that, um, they change your life in a sense, or you're going to be forever changed by the connection that you have with them. Um, or something about the relationship is going to be very profound. Hmm. Something else I was getting ready to say. Uh, it'll come back. In regards to health, it seems like maybe you're trying to cure something and it does seem like something will go away.
There may be something significant about laven using lavender to heal or cleanse. Mm. Okay, so there could be someone that is trying to um, like I said, tap into your energy. It just seems like someone's sending messages to you um, telepathically if they're into metaphysical things. Or if someone is into, you know, like spell work. I feel like maybe someone is trying to channel you uh, or get your attention. Especially if all of a sudden you're thinking about somebody or wondering why you're thinking about someone out of the blue so much. Mm. Another thing that could be going on is that um, if you are any type of healer, you could be doing some sort of uh, remote healing um, or just cleansing people's energies. I feel like something is just being removed. Someone thinks you are attractive, but they're shy. Or maybe you find someone attra attractive, but you're too shy um, to approach them. If there's anything that, any type of skill that you have or some sort of talent that you have, or maybe you're wanting to uh, start your own business with some sort of idea that you have, I feel like you are needing to come out of your comfort zone. I feel like you might be having doubts and you might be making excuses as to why you can't do this or why it's not the right time. Um, but I feel like you're needing to push yourself. You've got to get out of your head. Um, you've got to clear a lot of negative voices that might be in your head as well. Um, I kind of feel like something's going on where you're uh, wanting to, you're wanting to show something or you're wanting to reveal something, but you're afraid to. There may be a fear of being ridiculed um, or mocked. It seems like it's something that you want to say, but you're afraid to say it. I feel like people are going to praise you uh, for a talent that you have. Or when you do finally start your business, whatever this is, I feel like you're going to get praise for it. Something that you've been working on might get like a lot of attention or a lot of positive feedback. Yeah, I feel like you're going to get some sort of recognition uh, for your work. And something also seems like coming back from the dead. Like maybe, you know, you've been feeling 
uh, dead inside or maybe ignored at work and then it seems like uh, suddenly you're being recognized uh, for your work um, and for being um, unique being recognized for being very uh, eccentric or unique something I feel like something is standing out with you Now, somebody also might be um, trying to spy on you just to find out if you're in a relationship or not. Um, or trying to pick your brain to see like what type of person you would be interested in. Also could happen where you find yourself running to see what all the commotion is about like um, I don't know if you're hearing sirens or if you just hear some sort of a clamor it, it just seems like maybe uh, a bunch of people are running to see what happened or you know what was that what was that noise what was all that uh, what were those sparks mm. You also might be a witness to something that you didn't anticipate. Um, I don't know if you're seeing something in the sky or what, but it does seem like you're going to witness something you didn't think you would, you know, witness this. You also could run into someone that you didn't think you would run into. I feel like something's going to be revealed to you. Um, it also seems like, uh, the universe is like forcing you to go, uh, in a certain direction. Like maybe you were tr on your way here and the universe is going to kind of step in and put you on a different path. You're going to like go on a detour. Um, but it's for the best. It's because like the universe sees something that you don't. Yeah, in a love situation, though, somebody is, like, thinking about taking you out. Somebody is either shy uh, because you get too much attention or you are thinking that someone is not interested in you because they get a lot of attention. Okay, I kind of feel that spiritually uh, you're going to be visited by someone uh, that has crossed over. You may or may not know this person. I feel like it's a family member. Uh, if it is an ancestor, it might be one that you've never met. Um, but I feel like you're going to be visited uh, by a spirit. Uh, another thing I'm seeing here. Somebody is coming out of a breakup and they're like in the middle of healing. It could be you. If people were to find out that you're no longer in a particular relationship, 
you might find that there are several people that are wanting to line up like, okay, well, I'm available. Like, so I feel like, you know, it might feel like you're getting a lot of attention, especially from people that's been checking in to see what's going on with your relationship. Because it's like last time they knew you were in a relationship or you were unavailable. Now, this also could be the other way around. You're finding out that somebody is no longer in a relationship and you're like, let me go shoot my shot. Mm. Yeah, I feel like some sort of a bad argument could lead to someone's breakup. Hmm. I keep feeling like a spirit is trying to get your attention. A spirit is trying to tell you something or get you to notice something. And I feel like you don't want to hear it or believe it. Now, this also could be like a spirit guide that's like, hey, like there's an opportunity over here. Like, look, and you're like, I don't want to know or I don't want to see. Like, all I know is that some I'm hearing something or things are moving. You know, I don't know. I just kind of feel like a spirit is trying to get your attention. I also feel that you are not wanting to date someone because they are too fresh out of a relationship. All right, so let's pull some energy cards. All right, additional messages. For fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising for this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. All right, you have Coriocopia, Deceit, Financial Constraints. Overall energy, second chakra, Archangel Ariel. Okay. So I'm also getting initially something seems like it's everything you want, but you might end up learning that all that glitters is not gold. Um, so you might find out too that you've been either wearing rose tinted glasses or um, you know, you, something could be like a fairy tale ending as well. You might be left feeling, uh, empty. So again, that does kind of make me feel like that's a warning for somebody that might make some sort of a strong connection and then suddenly feel ghosted. Um, I feel like already that has something to do with someone being too fresh out of a breakup. Maybe they were technically broken up. Um, but at some point, if that person pops up, maybe they feel like, let's give the relationship another try. Or, you know, just maybe they just realize that they're not fully healed. Um, so there's a strong possibility that you could make a strong love connection. Uh, but I don't know that it will last because I think healing is still taking place. And this could still be, this could be you. Maybe you're the one that is going through a breakup. You run into somebody and then you decide, like, I don't know what I'm thinking. Like, I don't want to talk to them anymore. I'm not ready. You know, you might just, like, shut them out and leave them wondering what happened. Uh, be careful what you spend your money on. Um, I mean, it could be something as minor as you purchasing something that's 
about to expire the next day or you know you taking something home and opening up and then to see that it's spoiled or you know molded or something so be careful in regards to the type of food that you're purchasing or where you get it from also in regards to being careful what you spend your money on because something might be a trick or it might not be worth what it appeared to be and then you're just kind of like out of money mm. there's also a possibility that someone is looking at you for help and excuse me maybe coming to you with a sob story because they feel like you have a lot of money and can help them. So, you know, just be careful that somebody's not trying to use you for your money or use you for what you have in general. Again, going back to the second chakra, uh, two things. For one, make sure that you're protected with whoever you're sleeping with, especially if it's a new person or you find yourself about to have some sort of a hookup or one night stand um, because it may not be all it is cracked up to be and they might actually uh, leave you with something um, they might appear healthy but they're really sick mm. the other thing is just about feeling used you know it's just like someone you know sings your praises and then they're just like gone afterwards Maybe they were only using you because their partner wasn't giving them any attention. So they, you know, found you and got what they needed and they're done. All right. So hopefully these messages help, uh, but feel free to leave your feedback. Thank you guys for watching. Sending you love and grace.